demonstration of tips for the WebEx user. Today we're going to be showing you a little bit about how to use virtual backgrounds in WebEx meetings. So this feature has been around for a little bit now uh, in the iOS and the uh, Mac side of the house, but it's just been released for Android and for Windows-based PCs. So the first thing you want to do to make sure that you have this and you're ready to go is you want to check your version of WebEx meetings that you have installed. So what you're first going to do is click about and make sure that this is your current meetings version 40.7.4.15 or above. So this number or higher is what you want to make sure that you're on to make sure you have that feature first off. Once you do that, um, you can either go ahead and start using it, or if you're not at that feature level, please go ahead and check for updates. You can do that by just clicking on this gear icon again, and then going right down to check for updates. And when it does that, it'll actually start searching WebEx to see if there is an update out there, and it will tell you you're on the current and latest version or not. Now you could just skip that first step to see which version you're on and just check for updates. That way you get the latest and greatest that's out there. Uh, but really just want to make sure that you're on this version or higher. Once you've done that, then you can go ahead and start actually using it. Really, it's real simple. When you first actually join a call, you can see up in here, there's actually a change your virtual background button now. So this is even before you join. So the great thing about this is you don't have to wait to join and then throw up your background. Uh, you can actually do that ahead of time, which is a step above some of the other competition out there. Uh, so I can actually click here to change my background, and I have the option of having no virtual background, which is just going to show my actual background. I have the option to blur my virtual or blur my actual background, so that it'll just take whatever's behind me and blur it, so that's not in focus as much. I have the option for three current backgrounds. Now this is all that's currently available and there's no option right now to add your own custom backgrounds. That said, that is a feature that's coming and it's coming relatively soon, so watch for that update. But I do have the option to pick, so I can choose between any one of these three virtual backgrounds. Now, a little tip that you want to watch for is make sure that whatever virtual background you're using, there isn't a huge difference between what your actual background color is in your virtual background. So if you see here, you can kind of see that the headset is making this little gap around the sides of my head where you can actually see my real background color behind me. So if I pick this one, you can kind of notice it a little bit more, where if I pick this one, it's much more similar to my background color. So it's not going to be as noticeable that I'm using a virtual background. If you're not wearing a headset, that doesn't come into account as much because it's going to cut out right at the edges of your head, so it's going to be looking a lot nicer. But if you're using a headset for better quality audio, like today I'm using the Cisco headset here, uh, it's going to create those slight gaps depending on your hairstyle and stuff like that. So if you do have that issue, just try to match your backgrounds to whatever your actual color is. Once you're done there, then you can go ahead and start the meeting. And once you're actually in the meeting, you can actually change things as well. So if you look down here, you can actually see what your meeting is going, that you can actually minimize the selfie so you don't see it anymore, but you can see your virtual background you've selected. If you're in a meeting and you want to change your virtual background, just click on these three dots, and then from there you can actually go to change your virtual background, which then pops up your view, and you've got these additional options here that you can select. Once you select the one you want, you just apply, and it will actually change that on the back end. So uh, just keep that in mind. You can also change your camera, and you can switch between multiple cameras here if you wanted to as well. You can also uh, stop showing the self view in mirror mode. Now, I personally like mirror mode because it allows you to easily know, OK, I'm going to move my hand left, and it moves left with me, or it, it looks like a mirror, where if you don't have this on, it's going to move left for me, and it's going to move left for uh, the person, my my reflection, which is going to look like it's moving right for me. So it just it messes with me a little bit when I do it that way. So mirror view is just the easier one to use. And that's it. Very simple to use, very easy to use. Um, play around with it. Let us know your feedback. And uh, let us know what things you like and don't like about it. Thanks for joining us today for another edition of Tips for the WebEx User.